SonicEclectic.com, you can find a video of Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. She did this new video, um, explicit lyrics. Um, I don't, uh, you know, YouTube and all that stuff. They're kind of crazy. So I will show, I will show you images, but I will take off the sound so that way they don't like flag our, uh, our broadcast, whatever. But it's interesting. A lot of cursing, a lot of cursing <laughs> and sexual stuff. But you know, what is an ass cupcake? I, you know what? I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and we'll probably title this Nicki Minaj only response. You know, this is our first time checking it out um, together. And uh, yeah, a lot of the imagery is uh, very Nazi. It is not very Nazi. I'm reading it and it's just not making any sense to me. Yeah, the visuals are very different than the lyrics and it's all unnecessary. I mm -hmm. guess they're trying to say yeah, um, their label Young Money is taking over. Um, but I mean, it's just a picture with two Grim Reapers next to her and there's all these soldiers. And if you look on the top of the building, there's a... Uh, um, a picture of her bending over that that same pose that she took from that she took from um, oh i see it yeah what you call it um little kim mm -hmm. oh she borrowed from little kim so uh, little wayne's on it drake's on it um who else that guy chris brown's on it so it's an interesting collabo so um i don't know I mean, when, when people do this, do you just say, hey, it's just shock value to get us to talk about it? I think it's just shock value, but reading this, I guess like when I listen to the music, I don't really listen, like listen to the words. Right. But now that I'm reading it, it's just like, really? This is what people sing about? Right. But yeah, I think this is for shock value. I don't think they actually mean anything by it. But then why, I mean, at what point did you not think people weren't going to be offended? I mean, I can see why people could be offended. Yeah, this is very offensive. It's like Obama is the Pope. Drake is a priest. Little Wayne is, I don't know, he's wearing a suit, so I guess he's the businessman. Uh, I mean, it definitely has a different... I'm surprised they put Obama in here. I wonder what he feels about this. I don't know. Probably so busy with Ebola. He's like, you know what, don't even... I don't even have time for that. Yeah, I don't think it matters to him at all. Yeah. But he might feel some kind of way. Yeah. I'm sure his wife is like, you better stop putting my man <laughs> <laughs> picture up in that foolishness. Yep. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Um, do you think our album's going to be received well? Because a lot of female rappers are being signed and coming out and right, Iggy yeah. Azalea and... Um, who else? Uh, Jean Grey mm -hmm. is working on some stuff. I mean, um, she's already lady? so famous. I feel like, I mean, it probably will work out really well. Especially for even those who don't listen to rap. Mm -hmm. They know who she is. She was on American Idol. Yeah. But because of the lyrical content, is she shooting herself in the foot? Because obviously, I don't know, are, are mothers that complacent these days um i don't know my mom still wouldn't let me listen to this so now i'm an adult <laughs> i think i mean as a female rapper she has so much like power i feel like she could sing about something other than ass cupcakes right you know it's just it's a little odd i find it extremely odd especially people like who are famous and women who put mm -hmm. themselves down like this it's it's well, just she's an object I mean, she puts her, like, she makes it look like she's an object. If I was a rapper, maybe I will be, but if I was a rapper, I wouldn't sing about things like this. Um, but what do you think is the difference between her and a little Kim? See, I'm not familiar with little Kim. Okay. Yeah. What does little Kim sing about? I mean, she was raunchy, mm -hmm. but I did get a feel of... I'm raunchy because I could be as raunchy as the 
dudes. Exactly. That is what I'm okay with. If you're raunchy, I, I, you know, I got that feel. It. But if you're into it, like, go for it. But and she was in an all boys club. I mean, she was around Big E and that whole mm-hmm. camp. And um, I, I thought some of it was too far growing up listening to that too mm-hmm. um, as a kid. But at the same time, you know, um, it, it, it felt different. Mm-hmm. It, it felt like she was almost against something and she was using it, but you didn't get the feel as bad as Nicki Minaj. Like, well, I'm going to do this thing all the way to the bank kind of feel. Mm-hmm. And I think Nicki Minaj is more talented than that. Right. Like she went I, to school for acting. Where did she go to school? I think, she, I think it was LaGuardia. LaGuardia? Or some sort of school performing arts. She went to LaGuardia. Oh, the high school. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So she, you know, she's not what she appears to be. She's more yeah. than that. So why, why, why? And I guess that's what the public's into, but the public, you know what? Maybe the public should change their views. I think. Do you really think it's the public? I mean, the media. I mean, we, when we think about it. Why does the media do the things they do? Because, because we think, like, for, why are we talking think, about? Because we think not only we're having a reaction towards it, mm-hmm. reaction to it, but we think people might want to have this conversation. So. The media drives it more than the public. The public is kind of just like a lap dog. You know, I hate, hate to say it that way, but, you know, um, I, I don't think most of the public really cares. I mean, when stuff like um, L.A. Housewives and Mob Housewives mm-hmm. and Love and Hip Hop, that's what's on. So people are going to watch. I don't, I don't think there wasn't why? a demand for that before. I know. Yeah. But why are these shows even on? Like, when did reality TV, especially things like this, get so big? We're just... Um, it just doesn't fathom my head. I think I think it's the same way naturally when you drive and or being driven. <laughs> being driven in my case. <laughs> right. And there's an accident and you look. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants to see what's going on. The accident, yeah. the drama. I think that's just natural. I think it's also just a defense mechanism. I mm-hmm. think we want to see just to make sure we're good. Yeah. So... I think a lot of these individuals, producers are preying on just a natural response. But is that what people really want to watch? I mean, right now, television has been the best it's been the last two years Mm -hmm. that it's been for a decade or Mm -hmm. longer. Like everyone has at least four shows that they want to keep up with. That that has not happened in so long. So it proves that we just want a good story that's going to entertain us. Mm -hmm. We don't want that. But if that's all we're given... I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with production value, too. I mean, for mm. a reality TV show, you don't really do much. You don't need to right. hire, like, writers. You it's don't cheaper. need to right. hire stylists or makeup artists or anything. You just get a crew and follow the person around. Right. And that's about it. Whereas for creating a show, it's it you need, like, a whole team of people. You need an actual storyline. You need someone to write it out. And the you Writers need, Guild and the yeah. Actors Guild mm-hmm. and... There's a lot more money There's going on. There's a lot on. more. I think the average TV show is like 1.5 million. An episode? Yeah. That's on the wow. low end. That's on that the low is, end. That is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. There's a, there's a lot of people there. So, But they generate a lot of money too, so you can't even mm-hmm. feel bad for the, uh, the networks for that. So. Yeah, I'm sure they do generate a lot of money. Yeah. So for like a mm, little under a million, they could just give that to... The Eclectic Show. Yeah. 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 And on that segue, we're out. (laughs) Thank you for watching. And um, continue to support our pop culture commentary. Okay? Mm -hmm. That'll work. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. We're out. We're out. Bye. Bye.